Bubbles, my right. fucking boy. So, Bubbles is a good friend of mine. He is a uh, Cat and Falcon main on the rise from Long Island. He recently got out of pools um, at Blacklisted, as he was projected to, which nice. is very good of him. And a couple weeks ago, we went to, um, we actually invaded the CT Weekly GDS, and he made top eight upsetting poop to get out of, uh, to get into top eight. I, re I recall that. Yeah. There's a video on the uh, NY, NYNJ uh, PM Facebook. And people go. No, that was Royals beating Poob at Blacklisted. This was oh, a couple right. weeks beforehand where Corey Bubbles oh. beat Poob to get into top eight at the weekly, which was pretty stacked because there was a couple invasions going on there from Long Island and uh, Massachusetts, respectively. He unfortunately, dropped to um, HMO4, but that's a matchup he's not too familiar with. But he's getting to. One, now, go. into the match. Now, Straight into it, going from hands. one of the worst, ma one of the best matchups for Tink's favorite, now to one of the worst matchups for Tink's favorite. Falcon Tink is hell for Tink. It's kind of like the problem that Tink has with Game Watch, where a lot of Falcons confirms just work against Tink super well and are super safe. Oh, great! That's cancel my Zork. What was to get off these platforms? Zork is wow. Yes, but however, I feel like I feel like Zork is aware of the fact that this matchup is very hard for Tink and has practiced it accordingly because he's very good at this matchup. Yeah, I've seen him <laughs> tear up Falcons before. Yeah, it's definitely a super rough matchup, and you also hear we're going to see a big difference in play from the from from Tink and Zork. Zork, I feel like, is very crafty with his projectile setups and his combo games. He's also he also thinks Zare is very good in certain matchups. I like this. As you see, he's been like just throwing out Zare to stuff approaches. He's also very crafty with his bomb setups. He plays a lot like DVD, I feel like. He's like kind of like a discount DVD. <laughs> just the wrong Falcon <laughs> kick, Corey, you're fucking sick. But um, like I was saying, he's very crafty with his bomb setups. He'll like throw it on shield, re-grab it, pivot down. You know, and like tomahawk with it, just like Z drop it on your shield, pick it back up, throw it back at you. Oh, excellent DI on Corey's part. Corey also, speaking now to sing Corey's praises, Corey is a very smart player. He's very technical. He's probably one of the technical, most technical um, players I know. He was also, he's also originally a melee player, and he has came over to PM just because he likes the community, and he has a lot more friends in the PM community. Um, when he played melee, he was considered to be the most technical Falcon on Long Island, and probably like one of the most techno technical Falcons in New York. Nice. So he's definitely on lock with his like crazy moonwalks and wall uh, wall jumps. Uh, he has mastered the Nevergreen famous um, pivot, down, pivot smash. down smash. Oh my god, beautiful attack by Zord. Yeah, Corey missing a tech. Any sort of tech flub from Corey is very rare. Oh, oh this is the this is the run on the <gasps> oh, oh. Nice. He's at legendary percent. See what, let's see what can happen. Right. Corey, however, sometimes gets in his own head, which is a problem. He's he sometimes he second guesses himself a lot. He kind of flubs in himself a lot of shit by himself. But when when Corey's in there, he's in there. Oh, here comes a sick combo. Oh, he misses the down smash. Oh, oh there, gets the reverse knee by accident though. This is also a matchup he's not very familiar with. So even though it isn't a very in Falcon's favor. He's going to be needing to do a lot of adapting here to kind of pick up on what what works and what doesn't work. Because he's definitely just kind of playing Falcon like how you like just like a neutral for any matchup you would feel comfortable with. But there are a lot of things you can't get away with in this matchup. Granted, how good it is for Falcon. Good Ooh. wait on the up air. But Corey is also very good at adapting, so he'll pick up on these things. Up great throw. job. That's one of the biggest problems Tink has in this matchup. Up throw knee is probably one of the biggest banes of Tink's existence. Uh, just give me one second. I need to find my bag. That's a good. Speaking of which, where is my bag? Oh, it's right behind me. Yeah, can you just bring it to me? Yo, fresh, you out? All right, all right. This is man. 
All right, all right. Uh, this is probably my favorite menu theme. It's so good. I need to figure out what the name is. Uh, I've been trying to pester Nox to get to give me his build. Release the build. Nox is very, very protective of his builds, and for good reason. They're very good builds. Yeah, he. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple reasons he gave me for not releasing his build. And uh, I don't, I don't want to talk about it on stream, but I'm sure you guys will tell you. But it's, uh, it's a very good reason to not release his build. I just want them to go to the uh, Delfino's all Luma Land to Sage Knox is like making a bunch of actually. It's been in just, development you know, for a very long time because he just kind of forgets to work on it. He said, he said it's been in development since like Paragon. You hit Paragon was like last one that PM was at. Yeah, it's right Paragon. when 3.6 came out. Yeah, like a while when LZ first kind of came into the spotlight. But I yeah, feel like, that. all right, but game two, going to Battlefield. I don't think this is a good counter pick. Oh, it fucks up the nun combo. But I don't think this is a good matchup uh, thing for Tink. Because even though Tinks do like platforms instead of bomb traps and stuff, I feel like Falcon gets a lot of mileage off platforms. It's just like more room for him to run around, stomp through setups, stomp, re stomp into stomp combos. <laughs> Switch for getting his keys. Also, I just feel like Battlefield is like just a good stage. Corey is it's just a stage Corey is good on. That that's attack was. I don't know. I don't. Oh, oh my God! Just do not do not tech in place against Falcon. Do not stand up. Especially against Falcon. Bubbles. Bubbles like Bubbles sees. Bubble sees a tech in place and he like goes like oh, I, the world is like open to me. My eyes, I've ascended into the fifth plane. Yeah, this is the truth. Alright. That's pretty much the golden rule against Falcon, and I've seen Zork do it about five times now. Yeah. Tech and, oh like, like right like here what I'm saying right here. That Platforms was even, that was are even worse so good place. for Falcon. Jesus. Yeah, his tech chasing is platform. Beautiful. Tink loves platforms, but not like only in certain matches. Like in game against Game Watch, I feel like platforms help Tink so much because it just kind of limits my options going on to a platform. Oh, oh, no, nope. no punish for. Oh okay. no, at least he punished in the second one. Oh, for you. Oh, no I meteor cancel either. No meteor. I think Zork thought he was on stage. That's why he didn't go for the meteor cancel. Likely. It was very close. Oh my god. Like, Platforms just oh aren't helping. Oh my god, stop standing up in place, Zor. Come on, man. Oh! oh. Corey! <laughs> Bubbles knee. running away with him. <laughs> Incredible threes. Look at the eyes. That man is hunting. He's killing. He's definitely in the zone. Let's see who Zor takes him. Probably... I want to say Smashville. Maybe Final Destination. One of size. All right, bubbles up two. Oh, one more game and Zork is. Zork's gonna figure something. Well, there are a couple things Zork can do here. Zork can do here. Zork does have. Well, he's gonna stick with Tink here. But I was gonna say Zork does have a Marth and a ZSS. I've never seen a ZSS before. It's it's something. It's it's getting there. It's not the best, but it's there. I was thinking maybe in a de desperation move you try and see one of those. But the thing is, probably I Marth. think Tink is probably his best bet because Corey, coming from melee, knows the matchup very well. He oh also yeah, probably tear up Marth. He also is um. See, most most of Long Island is all in a crew, Lyak or PKK. If there's there's a couple names for it, but Aiden Aiden, uh, the PRZS player, myself, and a bunch of other Long Island people, along with Corey. Are in all in that crew. We always fest together. So Corey and Aiden get to play a lot. So it's also another matchup. I feel like Corey probably would know very well. Okay, oh, Corey, you need though. to stop. <laughs> Just me and you, shit. <laughs> I love you. Oh yeah, do it again. These moonwalks. All right, I yelled at Corey. Alright, but Zork looks like he's kind of picking up what he needs to do here. A little bit of a lead with the one stock, full one stock lead. Never oh. mind. Well, actually, 0%. Corey's at 93. A good grab or like just a stray hit will probably lead to the stock for Zork here. Alright, yeah, Zork's going back to using that Zare to really stuff out uh, Corey's approaches here. Bubbles. Bubbles' approaches here. 
Looks like Zork stopped teching in place too. Yeah, he kind of. Oh my god, Neville Spike. Yeah. He started picking up on that back. Oh, the raw knee. Nice. Ah, he should have just went on stage with it. Because Grand, he already saw. He should have noticed Bubbles was already committing to the roll upwards. So if he landed on stage, he had the chance to kind of cover his landing leg and kind of get a move out there before Bubbles punished him for it. This is where I feel like Tink starts to suffer from arthritis. At higher percents, Tink really needs to start fishing and looking for these kills rather than look, going to his uh, confirms. Yeah, the only real viable moves at that point are up B or uh, down smash like we just saw. Yeah, it was a good, a very good tech read there with the down smash. I feel like it covered tech in and tech in place, that down smash. So covering most options there. All that he could really. Beautiful pillar combo, but he doesn't, he's not able to clean up the edge guard. Let's see if... Oh, he backs way off. Falcon doesn't have many options off the ledge. Yeah, he's got like Nair, up air, or knee. Yeah. The ledge, uh, hack dash, or ledge dash. That's, that's pretty much... I mean, all he's got, that's remarkable at all. Yeah. So the fact that Zork backed up so hard was... Oh, and there comes an SD. Unfortunate. The Zare off stage. Looks like Zork might be falling apart a little bit. Oh, he's just tournament winning all over the place. If he can take this stock, he does have a chance. He though, does have a jump the back game. though. Oh, that there was very risky. Up throw knee, up throw up air. Good DI Ooh, and reverse up air. Oh, that's definitely gonna be. Corey is definitely very creative with his combo game. All right, so we're gonna start this these bomb resets. Ah, I think he's getting even, even if he makes it back, he's gonna get blown up by like any move out <laughs> has. Yeah, but right there, Zork. Okay, right there is what he, Zork did. What I said he should have done earlier. He saw he was committing to the roll up and just accepted.